Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, Wednesday night, and your man Jelani J.B. Bodie is in the house, hump night, getting ready to tuck in with this sports talk. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Preseason, everybody want to be famous, right? Yeah. Turn the lights low, my eyes low I don't know if I'm ahead of my time or if the time's slow I'm supposed to be rich by now But my mama, she still broke as hell And Sally Mace, she still chasing Papa down Got my deferred for now, but she'll be back around In about a year, I wonder where will I be Still working hourly, not doing shit with my degree Let's hope not, I'm trying to make these shows rock Look at the big boy to see me at the top spot Signing autographs for all of the little shorties Walking up to beat and finding out that she really know me I know it all sound like a dream But ain't nothing wrong with that, just ask Luther King In my current life, it's all just a movie scene Because in the lights is where I'm supposed to really be I just want to be famous Call home and tell my mama we made it No more lay away Today I'ma, I'ma pay it all I just want to be I just want to be famous Call home and tell my papa we made it I just want to be famous Remember mama when I was only 13 years old I practiced my Grammy speech, I still know how it go Just promise me one thing when I finally get that go You placed it right next to the tears I cried on your shoulder Day and night, when I thought I wasn't gonna make it I'm in a AU in a shop, it's me when I felt like breaking Said don't let them see you sweat, show them you can take it Snap me back into Diddy when I felt like Drake it Said get out your feelings Cause slick is real out here, but no matter what, just promise mama you handle business. Okay, you got my word, and to take us to the top will be my highest honor. Damn, the pressure's on me, cause all my people back home, they betting on me. And to the ones against me, y'all haters phony, but I don't give a damn, cause my mom and daddy warned me. I just wanna be famous, call home and tell my mama we mama, made we it. Made no more it. lay away. Today I'ma, I'ma pay it all. I just wanna be. I just want to be famous, call home and tell my papa we made it. We made it, yeah, we made it, yeah, we made it, yeah. I just want to be famous, I just want to be famous, I just want to be It's the Wait a Minute Show. This, this is a Squad podcast. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? The, the mic is lit. Faro Jaro. Faro Jaro. Kick my music. Kick my music. Bruh. Bruh. You, you, you done lost your mind. You done lost your mind. Ain't that right, Lil Pan? Ain't that right, Lil Pan? Really? 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 Wait, wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Just a question. Just a question. The Wait a Minute Show. With your host, Jelani Bodie. Bodie. Yeah! Let that music fade out. Uh, yeah, let the music fade out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am a little, just a little. Nah, forget it. I'm pumped up. It's Wednesday night. It's your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie. I'm tucking you in tonight uh, for your hump night sports fix. 
Uh, we got a lot of sports going on right now. So uh, we'll be talking about that as we go through the show. Uh, and shouts out to my intro music to a young lady from the shy Chicago, uh, Aaliyah Nicole with the uh, famous song. So I appreciate the music that she dropped off to me. So ladies and gentlemen, check her out. Uh, she's on SoundCloud, iTunes, uh, and you can get that song and much more. She has uh, more songs on there. So she put an EP out. So uh, without further ado, this thing that we call the Wait a Minute Show is here. And I'm your host, Jelani J.B. Bodie. Why my voice get hot right there? J.B. Bodie. And I can't do this w- without mentioning my ace, my homie, my road dog, my man that always got my back, my co-host. Lopan, Lopan, tell him what's up. Lopan is in the building, so he is excited uh, to be here, just like I am excited to be here. So uh, once again, you listen to the Wait a Minute Show, uh, and if this is your first time being on, I'm going to let you know right now that we can be interactive. I am a I am a host who I try and keep up with the chat line, you know, while I'm doing the show. Uh, If you're shooting something to me, I try and respond to as much uh, as possible uh, so that we can go back and forth, letting all the listeners know. Uh, And and again, shouts out to the listeners too, because I'm in the ATL and I'm down in the, you know, in in the Wait a Minute Show studio. Uh, No more in the Master Closet studios, no more. So, here in the ATL, but we got people that listen to the show uh, from all parts of uh, the world, basically. We got people that listen to this show in China. Uh, we got even the United States, of course, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. So we're going to send a shout out to all the listeners as well. Uh, I I kind of forget that, you know, because I kind of just send the shouts out to the people that's in the chat room. So I want to make sure I'm hitting up the listeners because I appreciate you joining me every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with your boy to hang out and talk about some of these sports talks. So uh, we are getting people jumping into the chat room tonight already. So we'll uh, hit some shouts out uh, a little bit later in the show. But I see you in there. I see you in there. You know, uh, so as I was saying today, we got our sport fix a little bit, a little bit more of a sports fix. The Hall of Fame game was last week. Uh, that was OK. You know, it's, 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 it's give you, a, you know, a sniff, you know, of, of, of NFL football. Uh, so we're going to start progressing as we are today. Uh, tonight, I guess we could really call this the first official preseason game because the hall of fame i don't think anyone really counts that as the first official it's probably like a an exhibition first official you know if you want to call it that but uh panthers versus the texans is tonight and when i checked last let me i'll give you an update right now it's halftime it was 17-7 so 17-10 now uh the panthers are leading so we had a few few plays few good plays in that so i just give you a real quick update uh kelvin benjamin Caught a sweet pass from Derek Anderson uh, on a 23-yard gap uh, grab for the touchdown. Uh, that made it 7-0. Alfred Blue ran in for the Texans, a 16-yard touchdown, so that ties it up. But not to be outdone by Joe Webb, uh, he goes 50 yards, you know, to Demir Bird for a 50-yard touchdown, and then they add on some field goals at the end. So where we're at right now is 17-10. Uh, some stuff that. Probably, you know, that if, if anyone that's watching this game is going to be paying attention to, and you should be, uh, one is is the whole uh, Tom Savage and Deshaun Watson. So that, I guess Deshaun's going to get the second half because Tom played, you know, in the first half, and he did okay, you know, what you would expect, you know, for, uh, actually, I'm sorry, Deshaun did play uh, in the first half. He had 121 yards, so my bad, I'm sorry. Uh, Tom did too, but he has eight for 14 is Deshaun Watson. So this is going to hype up that hype train, that, that whole comparison, you know, of who, who to play Tom Savage or Deshaun Watson. So, uh, Tom Savage had not, he went nine for 11, which is not bad for 69 yards. He doesn't have the yards, but he has a completion. So, uh, looks like they putting together, you know, a good competition with the quarterbacks. Uh, and, and that's what you want. You want them to push each other. Make it a little bit hard, but 
at the end of the day, have, you know, a decision made probably about week three, you know, so we'll keep our eyes on that. Also, what's been going on on the other side of the ball, uh, Cam did not play, uh, wasn't expected to play, so no surprise there. He's still, you know, making sure everything is good to go, so he's ready for uh, week one, but I'm not going to call this brother the great white hope. I'm going to call him by his name, Christian McCaffrey. Uh, So, Taking eighth overall, so all eyes are on him, you know, trying to figure out, is this dude the real deal? Is he the real deal? So right now, he got seven rushes for 33 yards, so that's almost a five-yard average, 4.7. So he's starting off good. Ran off his longest uh, carry of 12 yards uh, on it. No receiving yards yet, so we'll we'll keep an eye on that. But he is going to be their, their running back of the future, so... As far as like right now as preseason go, everything is pretty much going according to plan. It's it's basically how you would want it to. Uh, You ratchet it up a little bit more in the second second game, third game, and then, you know, by that time you normally have what you want to do. And then all the people that's going to be starting are going to be basically chillaxing for the fourth and final game to get ready for the official week one of the regular season. So I just wanted to give you an update if you had not. Uh, known or did not know you know about it um we got we got a lot on the plate tonight you know uh you know i haven't gotten a chance to really weigh in you know i talked last week about if the dolphins would get cutler now that they have gotten cutler i got some things i want to say on that so we'll talk about some dolphin talk a little bit hopefully mocha bella is in here you know uh so we can get her to chime in on her dolphins you know as well uh we'll get into a little NBA talk. Uh, David Griffin, former GM of the Ca- uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, was on uh, the jump, and he was talking about Kyrie Irving. So we'll uh, cover that a little bit. Uh, maybe some college football. Uh, Hard Knocks is starting, uh, and you all know I'm doing my NFL divisional reviews, and. We already covered the AFC in past the past four shows, so now we are going to touch base and touch up the NFC. So we're going to start with the NFC West uh, for tonight's show, and I'll give you basically who I got finishing one, two, four, you know, in the division, and why I feel that they'll be finishing that. So we'll we'll touch base on the NFC West uh, division, and I'll give you the reviews and not to be out there. We're going to talk about somebody that got paid. Today, I mean, moolah. So they show me the money. Yeah, that's what they told him. They do. What, what? What? What did they tell him? Show me the money. <laughs> show me the money, and that's exactly what they got. So we'll go into that a little bit uh, later on into the show. Uh, we got still some folks jumping into the chat room as well. So I'll hit these folks up right now before. You know, we get all deep off into it because people will still be jumping in and we'll want to go through a slew of people at once. So, uh, my man that always jump in here first, uh, I think he has his hand on the trigger finger. My man Cedric Galloway is in the building. So, shouts out to Seth, uh, for joining in here. Sluggo, X Squad affiliate family member is in here as well. One of the biggest, ooh, New Orleans Saints fans there is. Easy, uh, from Easy Does It. He's in here as well. DJ Knox. Uh, the man with the plan mixing on the ones and twos is also in here. So appreciate you joining in, joining in as well, DJ Knox and Rough Buff. Uh, I come in peace, man. The biggest Buffalo Bills fan there is out there. So we still got other folks jumping in. So we'll get back to the chat as far as like who's jumping in and sending shouts out to everyone in there. But at this point, we're going to go ahead. Start off with a little bit of injury news, so give you up to date, you know, fantasy football and all that stuff is going on, so people, you know, you want to keep track, and also just maybe you haven't heard about what's going on with your team, you know, because you've been too busy, so we'll go through that real quick, we'll give you an injury update, so first and foremost, let's start with the uh, wide receivers, or as a matter of fact, we're, not, we're just going to shoot through some names, so right now, Tavon Austin and, and Josh Dodson, Tavon Austin plays for the Rams, Josh Dodson for the uh, Redskins. Uh, both of them are nursing some hammy. Uh, that is a hamstring injury. So they're day-to-day, so not really a big thing. They should be ready to go. Uh, just a precautionary measure. Uh, Travis Kelsey also got a knee issue. He's day-to-day as well. Uh, now, in a scary situation, Tyron Crawford, uh, one of the linemen, defense linemen for the Dallas Cowboys, had an ankle injury. And he was 
on the ground. He was down for for an extended period of time. So it looked like he was going to it looked like it might have been a little bit worse than it was. But I think, you know, uh, they'll just slow up.